We're currently building a new university. SRM students realize their fullest potential and direct that in a way in which they can become productive leaders and citizens in a globally interconnected world. As uh, Senator Daniel Patrick Moynihan once said, if you want to build a great city, build a great university and wait 100 years. I don't think it takes 100 years anymore. We're not looking for memorizing lots of facts and spitting them back for the exam in order to get the credential. We're looking for students to stretch their minds, to learn how to think. The plans to bring experiential active learning to the classrooms and the education system at SRM Amaravati is truly exciting. It's really made our education deeper, more impactful, and I know it will do the same in India. There's a great energy at the university right now. The School of Engineering and Applied Sciences is already up and running. The School of Liberal Arts and Basic Sciences has followed, and we're looking forward to founding a series of other schools in quick succession. Another unique feature that we're implementing is building cross-disciplinary research centers of distinction. It's very important to have those disciplines under one roof because we can then foster collaboration across disciplines. I think providing students with a deep foundation in the liberal arts will serve India and its population well in the future. And I applaud SRM University Amaravati for adopting this approach. The founder of SRM University Amravati, Dr. P. Narayanan, is a visionary. He is the president of SRM Trust, which is committing $460 million. Our plan is for rapid growth. We plan to have 10,000 students in five years, 25,000 students in 10 years. We're looking to recruit faculty members, not just from India, but from all over the world, who can be inspired mentors and teachers. I'm confident that some of the features we're incorporating into this new university are going to usher in a new era of higher education in India. I believe that the emergence of more universities in India where the demand is great will have the same profound effect on that country that the higher education system has had on the United States. There's a hunger for better higher education and I think it's going to be very enthusiastically received by many, many talented students in India.